Hey, this is Matthew with Sourcing Your Custom Holsters, doing another radio-related video here on the channel. Um, I got those scattered throughout uh, videos that I do on my holsters and leather work and stuff like that, but uh, I play around with radios as a hobby, so um, I've got a few videos, review videos and stuff like that on the channel as well. And I've been wanting to do a video for a while, testing the range on my Radiodity DB20, um, compared, let's see, I got a DB20 in the vehicle uh, matched with a Nagoya mag mount antenna. Uh, and then I wanted to compare the, that with the range of my base station, which is a uh, BTEC 50 watt radio with a 25 foot mass with a common omnidirectional antenna on top. And um, been wanting to test that for a while in a certain direction. Now we'll admit, the videos that you're about to see the test are in one direction is north of where i live um it, i need to test all the other directions as well uh west south and east because the terrain's a good bit different so i kind of need to get a feel for where the dead spots are and and where they're not because when you're doing simplex on gmrs particularly in any kind of radio service really but particularly in GMRS, the low-lying areas you will just lose signal completely and then you'll get up top of the hill and you'll gain it back and um, in the video that you're about to watch where I test this at the, the different distances and the mile marks, uh, which we got out to 10 miles um, mobile to base station, um, it really just depends on where you were. And for GMRS particularly, you had to be at the top of hills uh, in the road. And I didn't get off the road, but you know I'd pull off to the side up at the top of a hill and then I'd radio back um, down to the bottom of a gully, you know, down in... in Going up, you just couldn't get anything with the GMRS until you got to the top. So it worked pretty well. It just depends. Some areas work good, some wasn't. I wouldn't say it was reliable communication everywhere you went because it wasn't. And that's not reliable with radios anyway unless you have a huge tower that you're talking back to. So I wanted to do that. So I thought it'd be neat to compare it to CB because I have a CB radio in the car. And I have one here, and I have a base station. So I have a Galaxy DX949 here at the house, um, paired with a 26-foot mass with an Antron 99 at the top. And then in the vehicle, I have a Little Will mag mount antenna with an Anytone 6666 in the vehicle, or at least I put it in the vehicle. So I thought, hey, it would be neat to compare GMRS and CB for local communication which the main purpose for this is for like hurricanes and things like that, how far you can get out. And um, I will say one huge benefit that the CB has over um, the GMRS is you will pick up the CB signal and be able to talk in the low line areas and the high areas almost throughout, sometimes with no interruptions whatsoever. As for the GMRS is cut and go depending on the terrain and um, CB has it beat big time on that because um, you don't lose the signal near as much and you can actually have a conversation without it cutting in and out um, while you're driving, which is really neat. GMRS works good if you pull off and use it. And uh, the CB too, I mean, if you get way out there, that will help too if you pull off and kind of direct your car towards the area. And actually the last video, um, I actually was pointing the car towards the base station 10 miles away, and I got, I hit the tower, or hit the base station, I should say, the mast, um, with the GMRS and the CB at 10 miles away. But one thing you don't see in the video is when I back my car up and I try it again off camera, um, it didn't work as well. In fact, uh, my son, who was back at the base station, he had trouble hearing me, and I had to line the car up, so that was interesting. I uh, have a little omnidirectional, or uh, well, not omnidirectional, but like a directional antenna there with the car on how it was pointed um, with one of those antennas. And it was mainly with the GMRS antenna, which is the Nagoya mag mount antenna. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to play the test videos of how we, um, we tested, how it went, how it worked. Both of them worked um, well in some areas and some um, didn't, didn't work well very well in others, so it just depends. Um, one thing I will say that um, the CB does have over the GMRS is it being AM, and I try, uh, this whole test is on AM CB. Um, even when it's staticky, you can still make out what the other guy's hearing. On FM, on GMRS, you either get it or you don't. 
there is no static. Um, it, it's hard to really make it out. I mean, you could turn the squelch all the way off, but even then, it's not going to make a big difference. But with the CB on AM, um, a faint signal can still be a signal. You can still make out what it is. So keep that in mind, too. I think that's a big benefit with the CB because even though there may be a lot of static, you can still make out what the other guy's hearing on uh, GMRS on FM, you just wouldn't get anything. So take a look at these videos here, and I will put a uh, at the bottom of the screen on how far they were from the base station. Hey, this is WRXG597 calling home base, uh, testing at 1.4 miles on the GMRS. How do I copy? Over. I copy. How is the sound? How do I sound? How's the transmission quality? Yeah, how is that? I did not get that. Over. I said, how do I sound on the radio? You're a little static, and I did not get that either. I understand. Let's switch over to the CB. I'll call you back on that. It's so static. Hey, how do I sound now? Do you copy? You sound good, you sound good on the CB, but, but you don't sound good on the um, GMRS. Roger, roger. Copy and stand by. I'll, I'll radio you in a minute. Roger that. This is WRXG597 uh, calling home base. Do you copy? I'm at 4.9 miles on GMRS. That's a big 10 4. Okay, Roger. Let's switch over to the other one. Stand by. Roger. Hey, how do you copy now? Mobile to home base. Okay, good. Uh, roger, roger. Uh, this is 4.9 miles. Uh, stand by for the next uh, contact. WRXG597 calling home base. This is on GMRS 10.3 miles. Do you copy? Over. I read you loud and clear. Roger, roger. Just so everybody's clear, um, this test is done uh, on the video here. Depending on the terrain, it's just hit and miss on where we're at in a low area. It will not work on the GMRS. A uh, high area, sometimes it does. So this was a good spot. 10.3 miles. Now we're going to check on the uh, the CB now, Denton. Yeah. Okay, mobile calling home base. Do you copy? Over. I understand uh, we're at 10.3 miles. Um, stand by for the next test. Well, there's the test videos on the range. Uh, keep in mind, it just depends on your area. That was going in one direction north from here and my local terrain in South Louisiana. Uh, I'm going to try maybe a couple other videos in different directions um, with using the same equipment and kind of see where um, where my, my good spots are, where my weak spots are here locally. And that way I know, you know, where the dead areas are for my GMRS or my CB or whatever, and uh, how I need to make tweak, tweaks to the whole system. Uh, obviously, in this video, the CB wasn't even mounted. I had just hooked it in there right before I got did the video. The uh, the GMRS radio I actually have down in a little cubby hole in the uh, the minivan, which is what it's mounted in. The CB I have actually have a smaller CB in the car, but I didn't want to make uh, a video with that test because it's not the best CB in the world, it's, but it's really tiny. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, found a value to this. Keep in mind, it all depends on your terrain, so you need to go out and, uh, and check um, your own local area and the terrain and how your signal gets out, where the dead spots are, where the good spots are, and keep that in mind. And um, like I said, it just depends. I mean, if you're if you're in a valley and your base station's up on, on a mountain, 
um, you're going to be able to hit it all the time, more than likely. Um, but uh, if you got rolling hills or rolling terrain, it's going to it's going to vary a good bit. Anyway. Thanks for watching. This is Matthew with Swordslinger Custom Holsters. Hey, if you want a custom holster, go to swordslingerholsters.com and check out some of my work and send me an email. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.